Now, moving on to the next topic, we have a new GPU mining company coming out of China. And this article is from Tarms Hardware, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Chinese company More Threads. <laughs> get the play? Do you get the play? Moore's Law? All right. Announces full GPU development capabilities. Touted as the world's first fully domestic Chinese GPU provider. The article goes on to say, a Chinese company called More Threads has recently announced that it has become the first national company to introduce a domestic fully featured GPU solution. The company reportedly tapped most of its core engineering team from NVIDIA with usual suspects, Microsoft, Intel, ARM, and others. Also being headhunted for the engineering talent that makes up the company's roster. More Threads is more than an interesting naming choice. The company's website does promise, quote, double the number of concurrent threads every two years, end quote. That's pretty crazy. If that sounds familiar, it's because it papers to be named after Moore's Law, obviously, which predicts that the number of transistors in an integrated circuit will double every two years. Moore's Law is named for Intel co-founder Gordon Moore. The company claims that its GPU solutions have been based on fully domestic intellectual property and manufacturing expertise and is capable of a variety of GPU workloads, including 3D graphics computing, AI training, and, inter, uh, and inference computing. Uh, inference computing, high performance parallel computing, and acceleration for ultra high definition video codecs. The company aims for its GPU to be seamlessly integrated with partner companies' infrastructure designs, including Chinese developed CPU and platform solutions, an integration process that the company has already started. More Threads claims it has already accumulated a wealth of knowledge for every stage of GPU production, and that that's the enabler for its claim of being able to design, manufacture, market, and service its GPUs covering the entire product lifecycle. I don't know if you guys are feeling this, but I'm feeling like, yeah, they obtained all this knowledge from manufacturing NVIDIA and AMD GPUs and stealing all of the intellectual property. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a tinfoil hat guy when it comes to China and all the intellectual property they steal, but you know. It is what it is. Interestingly, More Threads was founded as recently as October 2020. A mere year has come and passed since its inception and towards the development of this GPU solution. The company did enjoy ample funding for its endeavors. The startup has already gone through three funding rounds in a single year with prominent investors such as Sequoia Capital China, ByteDance of TikTok fame and Tencent all reportedly contributing at one point or another <sighs> Tencent uh, you guys are gamers Whew. And I, I don't know about this boys the latest series of funding round brought the company some 313 million dollars with the aim to enable more threads to kickstart the mass production and manufacturing of its first gpu chip and continued ip research and development for its gpu socs hey guys we're gonna need 313 million uh so that we can get some spies in at the nvidia at the nvidia factory you know what i mean and the amd one let's get it in there let's just sneak in these guys are going to cost some, a pretty penny because they won't be the typical slaves that are building the parts, you know, so we're going to have to actually pay them to get this continued IP research. <laughs> if Morse Thread claim, claims ring true, then it is certainly one of the pivotal moments in China's plan to become technologically independent from Western countries. Yep. When it comes to silicon bound technologies with pressure piling on China's manufacturing capabilities in the, in, uh, in the face of the U S China trade war, technological independence for China does seem to be dependent on that country's capabilities to reinvent the wheel. I don't think you're reinventing the wheel. I think you're just building the wheel. You just, you just, you're just, you figured out what the wheel was and how to build it. You stole it from the guy that's building the wheel and you're just going to build another wheel. That's what you're going to do. 
All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, guys. All right, we're, we're good. Let's Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mined Ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to 8% cash back. In addition to the Visa debit card, there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits. Crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue revenue on your investments. Join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.